Hello, ladies. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Angela the Simpson Functional Medicine. My name is Angela, and I'm always happy to have you here, and I can't wait to share this topic with you. We are getting into the middle of December now. We're getting close to the holiday season. Christmas is upon us, and I know many people are busy. They've got lots going on in their personal lives. Often there is a lot extra to do, and then you're probably also managing your work and really feeling like often you're just holding all the balls up in the air and hoping you're going to make it to and through Christmas. And what can happen sometimes if you are a female in your 40s, early to mid 50s, or maybe a little bit outside this age range, but in that general range is you probably are having changes to your hormones, meaning your estrogen and progesterone levels are on the decline as you get closer to and transition into menopause. And even if you are in menopause, the hormones are continuing to decline and lower. So with this, typically there are some common symptoms that come about. And one of the triggers for these symptoms isn't actually the lowering of the hormones. It's some of the things typically that are going on in our life that actually influence these hormones and make things worse. So back to the holidays, this busy time of year, I find one of the things that makes things worse in this category from a symptom perspective is stress. And if you are running around feeling like a chicken with your head cut off, like you just can't keep up, you can't get everything done no matter what you do, it's likely your stress levels are up. Cortisol is our primary stress hormone, so our body is going to be signaled to produce and pump out more of this cortisol when we're under a little bit of extra stress. And the problem with this is it actually does mess with our hormones a little bit more. So again, back to females, if you are in that age range I described, around 40, 50 something, your hormone levels are already lowering and changing. And so if you're under more stress, it actually does create more imbalance. And sometimes it can even cause those sex hormones to lower more quickly. And often what does happen is there's an imbalance in the hormones. And so one of the hormones that lowers more quickly is progesterone. And so many women, when they have low progesterone symptoms, again, which is very common in this age range, they're feeling more fatigued, more moody as they get closer to their cycle, tender breasts. You may not actually even be having a cycle anymore. You may have transitioned into menopause and you may be having more of a low mood all the time. You might feel more irritable, almost like you're still having a cycle, but so you have these ups and downs with your mood, but in general, you just don't feel like your balanced, happy self. You may be noticing weight gain as well, especially around the waistline. And you may just generally not have that much energy. It may get worse if you are still cycling, but if you're not cycling, you may have low energy more all the time. Brain fog often goes along with this too. So we want to understand that some of these symptoms are normal if your progesterone is too low for your age, but it doesn't feel good to have these symptoms. So we've got to figure out what we can do about it. Like what can you do to get out of this cycle of basically just feeling like junk all the time, day, night, you know, regardless of where you're at in your cycle. So there is an answer to this. And like I say, one of the solutions actually does have to do with lifting some of the stress because when we do have high stress and our body's producing more cortisol, it'll actually steal progesterone, this hormone that's already on the decline faster than our other female sex hormones on the way to and in that transition into menopause. So it'll steal that already low progesterone to make cortisol. So it can create an even bigger imbalance and make those symptoms that I described be even more elevated. And really often women do tell me it makes them feel almost crazy. They feel like they just can't focus. They can't get things done in life. They don't know what's happened to them. But really a lot of the time, some of the solution can actually come from slowing down and allowing the body to not pump out as much cortisol. So I know sometimes this is easier said than done, especially around the holidays, but sometimes we really do need to just step back, take a deep breath and think of what are some things I can do to allow my body, my nervous system, my stress levels to calm down. Some of the easiest ones are to just step outside, go for a short walk try and get out in nature, try and just get outside in general, regardless of where you live. If you're close to nature, great. If you're not, still get outside and just move your body for 10, 15 minutes. That's enough to start resetting that cortisol. It actually does change how the hormones are being processed and produced in our body. Try and take some deep breaths. Try and just be mindful of your breath so that things start to calm down. It does bring us out of that fight or flight, that continuous pumping out of cortisol. You know, another thing that definitely is really important as well is that you're getting enough sleep. When we sleep properly and enough in the night, um, it actually allows our cortisol to rebalance, even if we are living a busy or possibly a high stress lifestyle or we have a, just a stressful time leading towards the holidays. So those are three quick tips as to how you can start to rebalance that cortisol, that stress response. Understanding also what's happening with our hormones in response to this. It's probably making your hormone symptoms worse, not better. 
your low progesterone, which is normal. Um, it's going to be lower than estrogen as you get closer to and transition to menopause. Could get even lower if we don't help ourselves get a handle on our stress. And again, I know it's so common. I have a family. I'm busy as well. It does seem like the to-do list is endless most of the time, and it ramps up over the holidays. So we really need to ask ourselves, how can we calm this down so that we can actually enjoy the holidays with our family and friends and not feel like we are just so symptomatic that we really can't get any joy over this holiday season. So we know it's not just about the holiday season. You want to actually be happier, more balanced, feel like your normal best self throughout the year. But I really want to just stress that importance of right now, stress being that kind of that key word, that it is important for you to start looking at how you can lower stress and even just lower the response to stress by putting some of those techniques in place. Try and slow down, try and allow your yourself, knowing what's happening inside your body with the sex hormones as you get into your 40s and beyond, that you do need to allow your body some time to relax and unwind. It's absolutely essential for the balancing of your hormones. So I hope that helps you. And if you want to learn more about how you can get specific with balancing your hormones and your overall health and wellness, please feel free to reach out to me. You can go to my website, www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca, and that's where you can book a free complimentary consult. It's usually 30 to 45 minutes where we go into detail discussing your health and if it potentially might be a good fit for us to work together to help you optimize your health for the long term. If you haven't already, please go to Facebook and join my Facebook group. I have over 6,000 members in there of awesome women just like you who are looking to understand how to rebalance their hormones naturally. And you'll get support in there. You'll get some knowledge, some guidance. And it's really a great starting point for you. So it's called Functional Medicine for Hormone Imbalances on Facebook. Ask to become a member and I can't wait to see you there. Thanks so much for coming to my YouTube channel and I look forward to bringing more and more videos to you in the future. Okay, bye for now. 